the Arturian Group message. April 6, 2013 Again we greet you dear ones, those who read these messages, for we see you as students of truth, ready to evolve and grow deeper. There is much light now manifesting on earth and soon you will recognize the results of it. Do not always expect to see large overwhelming events but become more observant of the many small changes happening daily, unexpectedly. Be aware of words spoken by some political or spiritual leader, kindnesses between strangers, or the increase in those choosing to help serve all living things like the rescue of lost, abused, and frightened animals. Every expression of light unconditional love given to the world, to all living things, to each other, adds to the energy of the whole. Even when you do not particularly like another, your job is to silently recognize their divinity in spite of appearances and this is how you practice unconditional love because love is the realization of one which does not mean being a doormat for another. Today we wish to discuss the energy of reality and illusion, for many are confused when they read spiritual literature stating that the world is illusion when life seems to be very real and often so painful. Being expressions of source you are creators, and for lifetimes have been creating from a third dimensional consciousness of duality and separation. These experiences are very real within that state of consciousness, pain is felt, accidents happen, disease, lack, and limitation are very apparent and seem to be what human life on earth is all about. Many religions still ignorantly teach that man's reward will be in heaven and not on earth and that earth is meant to be a place of suffering. Buddha's original teachings having to do with the world being an illusion have been misunderstood by those not evolved enough spiritually to understand them. This resulted in many simply doing nothing, saying, Oh well, the starving baby doesn't matter, it is all illusion. It is not the world and all living things that are illusion, it is mankind's concept of the world that is the illusion. This is a vital point in the unfolding awareness of spiritual consciousness. Because you are creators dear ones, you create from your own state of consciousness and what you experience is based upon that. Are you creating experiences that manifest duality and separation or are you creating experiences of light and love? Many will react to this statement and feel anger, but we ask you to take this into your quiet time and ponder these words. Those who thrive on being victims will no longer be able to blame others for their problems and this will cause many to respond with anger and uncomfortable emotions. It is an ingrained but incorrect belief in the third dimensional world that others are responsible for your lives, problems as well as successes. When you see the suffering of others, realize that what you are witnessing is the manifestation of ignorance created through beliefs of duality and separation. These forms can appear in infinite variety of expression and often reflect the individual energy of one who may be still holding and thus attracting something from a past life experience. This energy may be manifesting at this time because the individual is now evolved enough to release and clear it. Frequently good or bad experiences simply reflect the impersonal nature of the third dimensional belief system because those living in a consciousness of ignorance are at the mercy of any belief which may be floating out there in universal human consciousness. Know that good appearances are no more spiritual than bad ones, all are concepts of the spiritual reality. When a spiritual student begins to understand these truths, it may result in some confusion as to how he is supposed to respond to the sufferings of the world. This awareness does not mean one cannot help others and does not mean doing nothing, but does mean we must recognize the reality behind what is going on. You see, the divine consciousness which is all there is, omnipresence, would be incapable of manifesting itself as division, discord, disharmony. How could one all there is, be divided? The illusion is man's ignorant understanding of the divine, seeing God as some sort of man in the sky and endowing him with qualities of good and evil, concepts born from lifetimes in ignorance of truth. Everything embodied within divine consciousness is a law, and these qualities are continually and infinitely manifesting. There is only one mind and that is divine mind but in the unawakened human, that one mind is conditioned by beliefs of duality and separation and then in turn manifests through this conditioning. For example, the self-sustaining, Self-maintaining qualities of source appear to man as food, clothing, 
or what is needed but when interpreted through a mind filled with varying beliefs of duality and separation, this quality of divine completeness will manifest as sometimes enough, and at other times not enough, the perfect expression of duality. The infinite wisdom and intelligence of divine consciousness will manifest through a consciousness programmed by duality and separation as some people being very smart and wise and others just the opposite. We are not recommending you shout hooray and throw away all your medicines or quit your job while saying, God is all, everything else is illusion. We are saying that if you resonate with these truths, then you are ready to incorporate them into your consciousness. When something unpleasant or even very dawning comes into your experience, you will now be able to look at it more impersonally, asking yourself, What am I believing that is making me feel this way, or manifest this? What is the truth? In this process, there is never to be guilt or self-recrimination for past mistakes or judgments for it is simply the process of evolution you are experiencing, and doing a fine job of it. You are learning who you really are and then living out from that which is why you are on this journey. Know that much of what may be unpleasant in your lives at this point is simply energy from past lifetimes that you are now ready to clear, physically, emotionally, and mentally. Many are experiencing issues they thought they had already dealt with or that they never even had in the first place. These things are presenting at this time in order to be looked at on a higher level and released. These issues reflect opportunities for you to examine your belief system. Many are being guided to remove negative or positive energetic cords attaching them to people or places because anything resonating with that which is finished must be released. Anything still resonating with old finished energy can hold you in bondage to the past. Negative issues being presented at this time are serving to move all evolving souls into deeper ways of understanding and the ability to let go with love and gratitude. This in turn, brings about a seeing of the world with new eyes. Always remember, reality is, was, and always has been oneness, and that one governed and held forever in place by law. That is why there really is no death. Could the divine die? We see the appearances of death, but is that the reality? Fear of death is one of the heaviest of beliefs needing to be released. One may change location but never can there be the death of that I am. The nature of the third dimensional experience is that each awakened to truth regardless of outer appearances. It was never meant for earth to sink so heavily into the dense energies of duality and separation, but it happened, and in spite of that many are now awakening and becoming strong and powerful beings, worthy of much praise and congratulations. Try not to get discouraged dear ones, for you are doing what you came to do and doing a fine job of it. Those of you who read these messages are more than ready to do the work required. There will come a point where most of the outer discords will simply drop away for there will no longer be the belief energy to manifest as them, and this is how the world is changing. As more and more awaken to truth and begin to live out from an illumined consciousness, the outer manifestations will take on more perfect and higher form. This is why no one can come and save the world for you dear ones, it has to be the enlightened consciousness of the many that manifests a new world and that is exactly what is happening very quickly at this point. Try not to add energy to the negative world issues you may become aware of through your news. Much of this is the manifestation of old and finished energy, for many areas of the world still hold a great deal of that which is very dense from the past, places of war and suffering. Send unconditional light to all people and places, knowing always that there is only one, and I am that one. We are the Arcturian Group. Channeled by Marilyn Raphael. www.onenessofall.com